over to Twitter and start voting for which team you think will get the victory screen this time. Send either hashtag T8Win, hashtag C9Win to at LOL Esports. We'll update that once we are in the game. The Nation on Zed and the rest of the team look like they want to go in for fights. And already starting with the first Dragon, they try to give themselves a lead. Four minutes and ten seconds on the clock. Cloud9 picks up Dragon number one. Very not Lemon. Dodo. Dodo coming around. Walk in, get that play first. Keep him slowly enranged. Oh, he's gonna he, go for it. Flash. It's the TP. All right, could have got the hook, but he goes for the for sure play here. They want to be able to pick up a kill for themselves. The TP is actually stopped towards the top side of the map. It looks like he may have canceled that himself or got hit up. And another Ooh. one coming in, a nice assist actually to go over to Porpoise. They make sure the kill goes to the end. Very nice. Get the aggression in, they want to use that. A lot of people Everything are they've been practicing. 2v2 two me, two me, bro, but that's not what happens here. They know the flash from Balls is down, and he oh, has no turret either. Hi, here. 3v2 me, bro. A nice jump over, actually. A little bit of a faker game getting played out by High. Tries to get the fancy feed in there, but I don't think it's going to work. One for one so far. Dodo goes down for Balls there. As opposed to where going? Clear. He's going down bottom. He's got something to save. Saving on to Nian. Looks like they're going hard on the fight. Nian actually baited in a 2v1 on that with the call of Cali Trolls. Looks like they have enough aggression. Oh, TP. here's the TP from Balls. His people need him. This is going to be big. Nobody actually saw that happen. They're focused on this, tunneling into the fight already. Now he's actually in a 2v1. This doesn't look as enticing as it did before to Balls. He could go down. High is actually just on the edge, but the roam from Dodo is here for a possible lantern save. Incarnation and this fight's still going under the oh, turret. No! Dodo goes hard for Sneaky under the turret. He uses both summoners there. He wasn't able to get over the tri brush wall if he wanted to. And what? I'll start coming in from the side. They know Lemon is wrapping around right now. And they're dedicated to this engage. Oh boy, they don't know Porpoise Ball's is there. Gone. Zeroed out. Alistar is coming up. That could have gone completely the opposite yeah. direction if they had allowed Balls to escape. It's or get his damage off. Sneaky. I feel, she's, she's I feel that he's he got, already got used his Valkyrie. Key strike. Key strike. Oh! Oh! The minions! The minions might take him down! He's, he's, a CS. he's the guy that back in week one, he's just missing CS every yeah. now and then. For sure. Even even in recent weeks as well, yeah, kind of plagued by that. And now he just seems more... Not seeing too many Azrael's pick that up as early. <laughs> See where Incarnation decides to go with his lane with his up, but the Shen moving in could be what they need to get what they want. Yeah. Uh, oh! That's going to be the Shen ultimate. It's got to go on the end if they want it. He hits it right there, and they do get the fight out of the mid lane, pressuring the turret. Exactly what they were looking for. That's going to be going on to high. He's forced out of the fight. They, however, tunneled a bit too much. Incarnation, he walked all the way over from that split push. That was the stand united from Cali Trolls to come in. They thought they had a bit more time to play with, but Cloud9 collapsed nicely. Oh, he's still going for Nian. Oh, Nian goes down as well in this one. Cali looking. Oh, he's gonna get it. Oh! So that did play out nicely to teammates' favor. The balls was already on its way. Right. He was able to TP to the back line and equalizer perfectly. Dodo, though, oh, he's not picking on the right people. Incarnation still has ulti. Incarnation has yet to use his ulti still this game. That last bit of turret health. He has flash, but he also has a lantern to get out, so it's not a huge risk. And he'll just get right out. It's third. Zonia's Hourglass already completed on Ezreal. So Golden Wu has his. Ooh. Looking. Looking. Oh, Jarvin's helping. Porpoise on the backside. Balls and Sneaky inside. Lemonation headbutts him out of his own cataclysm. They're on to Balls. They take him down. Rumble ultimate goes out, but doesn't affect too much a teammate. On to Sneaky as the death sentence misses. They have Lemonation even with Unbreakable Will on. And that could be the kill. The oh. flash at the end of the taunt. The Mystic Shots hit from the follow-up and the flash of Golden Glue. And the team starts to lock down Cloud9. Four members down. Incarnation forced to watch Baron now. See if he can do something. He was split pushing, and they started the fight off without him. It was a They were able to just close it with Porpoise Pops. Decisive call there from Team 8. Now it's Incarnation versus the world. That was even kind of a, a miss engage coming out. The Righteous Glory missed and the Thresh missed and Porpoise said we still have this. Incarnation's off on the side. Incarnation now in the front in the face of Team 8 and he cannot do much. He throws out the Shurikens but it will not get the Baron and he's got to. He has to shadow away from this one. True shot almost walks right into it. And Nian, they're going to be able to take him down. He tried to use just about everything. It would be kind of, he looked for an explosive uh, assist there. Right. From balls. They would have two marksmen. They're going to get this turret. Pressure not enough here from Incarnation. He's going to try as he might to get damage on this inhibitor turret. It will 
heal itself back up as we hold is better used on somebody else and is better used earlier on if they can get it. But he was just picking up things and let's see. Oh, stunted there. He couldn't I, get through. He tried to go for the play. You see the flash after he dove in as well. He still goes in, goes for the kick anyways. They want him off the inhibitor. High got exhausted during that, so it wasn't much damage to follow through as well. But they get good summoner spells out of teammate. Doesn't bother teammate at all. They're going to head down for the inhibitor. They're going to be able to take the second one down here. Looking at a full team of Cloud9. They've just pushed them back to the fountain because they have so much control over these fights. Through the wall! The end goes for the true grit, or rather the dash in. And then with the true grit pass passive, no fight coming back from Incarnation. He's too strong. Also has the Quicksilver Sash if he wants to. Quick draw. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Words are tough. Oh! I haven't seen Graves in a while. That was quick, too. This will be the third inhibitor going down for Team 8. Cloud9 on the back foot. Wow. Pretty much all game. There was one or two points. They might be going for the throat here. They might be trying to end the game. Just under 40 minutes. They're looking at the Nexus turrets. Hopefully not tunneling too much. Shot towards Sneaky. Brings them down to about 80%. Lemon Nation gets zeroed out and chopped up. Ground beef for dinner tonight. Cali Troll's very low, but he's still able to stay in. He's got some 1,000 HP probably already in that bar still. Crazy stuff. These guys so far ahead, able to methodically take these fights, push each other in and out, taking the right amount of damage, and they are going to take down Cloud9 methodically in the end. Coming up on 40 minutes, 15 to seven. The Nexus goes down and teammate take down Cloud9. And they push Cloud9 just a little bit further down in the standings. Cloud9 now just right above TDK. Strong play for Team 8 here on the second half of the split in a few games. Enemy win in week five as they started off this one. Now to take down Cloud9. It's gonna be a very tough, tough week for them next week though. Team Solo mid and Impulse is what Team 8's week seven looks like. So they need to buckle down even more and work off of this momentum. But they just beat Cloud9, meaning that this is going to be a much closer race at the bottom. That's true. Putting That's their head-to-head -head record one-to-one, -one, so if they do end up tying at the end of the season, they would have to play a tiebreaker instead.